Ramble. Thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's episode. You guys were talking about Magic Mike. We'll get there. Big yeah. boners, big Tampa energy. Yeah. You had a baby, though. I did have a baby. We have to acknowledge that. And I came back for one reason and one reason only, to talk about how steamy Channing Tatum is. Okay. <laughs> That's what got you out of the house? That's Are what we got started? me back. Did we start? We're started? The yeah, we're rolling. You t- can you see the inflection and, like, conversation yeah. change? Yeah, We I sort did. of started talking more interesting. Okay, okay, okay. We, we kind of, we, there's like a, it's a game of tennis. Yeah. yeah. Introduce the show, Kelsey. Um, This is Guilty Pleasures. Welcome! Um, guilty, Welcome baby whores. Guilty pleasures, Ooh, and that name has whores. never been so true. <laughs> that Sweet name has Jesus. never been more true than this week. We are talking about the Steven Soderbergh movie. My movie. This is my. Yeah. This is my people. Oh, this is 11. me, familia. Yeah. This is Magic Mike. Yeah. And if you don't know, where the fuck have you been? 2012 is the year. The game, the name of the game is Strippin'. Mm -hmm. I thought the name of the game was Channing. And and Channing is our fearless leader. He's a stripper. He's one of the best in Tampa, surrounded by his boys who are also strippers. But uh uh-oh, they got their eyes set on bigger oceans down in Miami. Mr. 305, check up in the room. Pitbull, bruh, bruh. Mr. Worldwide. They want to take the biz down south, but you can't be that dirty down south. That's right. You can't be selling drugs and beating up your clients. Nope. This is... Magic Mike. Double M's, baby. M and M. M and M. M and M. That's damn right. Um, But like, this movie is very good. Really good. Yeah, it's really good. Okay, so I was gonna, (laughs) I was gonna start off just uh, off rip. This is one of the better movies we've reviewed on this show. (laughs) Yeah, isn't it crazy? I was like, I, I remember in when when it came out. Um, it was 2012, yeah. you said? When it came out, it, it, this is college, and I was, like, seeing ads for it, mm-hmm. and then nothing, and then it came out, and then people kept coming out, out of the theater being like, that was actually a fantastic film. Yeah. Yeah. And it might have maybe not maybe not coming out of the theater, maybe coming out of, like, the DVDs yeah. or, like, Ooh, the streaming releases. The world. Um, and just being like, I, I really do remember. I miss it, honestly. That's how... Uh, um, Napoleon Dynamite fell into my lap because of how big the DVDs were on that. Yeah. But, um, yeah, people, like, I want to say uh, two or three months after the release really started talking <clears throat> about it. And I was like, fuck you. Yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a show about, sh- it's a movie about it's a stripping. Smut it's a film. It's a, it's not a smut film. It's just like, I'm no, not the target audience thought. for yeah, it's this. It's smut. Yeah. It's naughty. It's yeah. naughty. It's a it's naughty, naughty little flick. You're it's like, hot. I'm not going to this yeah. chick Right. Porn. Yeah. The soft core chick porn. That's soft what it thought. I, that's what I thought. Of. I thought it was a soft core movie. And then you and then I w- just recently watched it. Yeah. And when you watch it and you're horned up and you're ready to go. Yeah. And then it's, it's like, whoa. Oh. He's kind of got a journey that he has to go on. Yeah. This is it's a fucking stunning. Good film. Yeah. yeah. This is fantastic I, direction. Yeah. It is fantastic acting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We've got mega stars some people you might forget besides Channing Tatum that is in this we got Matt Boomer mm-hmm. we got Olivia Munn Matt oh. Boomer we Matt got Boomer. Matthew McConaughey hey Mc- hey hey yeah. hey there are some this was stars. a part. This was a part of the McConaughey <clears throat> the McConaughey yeah it was yeah the McConaughey you don't know about this the McConaughey was that Matthew McConaughey was kind of not respected by anybody for nope. a while because he, he was, was the uh, all right all right all right guy yeah. yeah. Uh, Days and Confused. Days and confused. He was doing like silly movies where he like said Best crazy stuff. Ridge Mahal. Yeah, and yeah. then he sort of had a moment where it's like all of a sudden he was doing Oscar nominated movies, and people yeah. were like, "He's actually a really good actor now." That's fantastic. He's yeah. not just a washboard abs and yeah. blonde hair. Yeah, because he did Dallas yeah. Buyers Club. Oh. He played a guy named Dallas in this in this movie. Yes, he did. And then he it was, was a nod to. Oh, was it? No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> the way Garrick believed you, he would never believe me if I said a something. A movie that like came that. out like three years before. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> huh. very cool. It was an homage. Oh wow! Garrick was lost success. in the earnest like love of this film. He <laughs> yeah. just he really was focused was on. Like, oh, he yeah, wanted to believe really you. Nice. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that and um and True Detective. Yeah, True that Detective really like sent yeah. me. True Detective. I saw McConaughey in that, and I was like, oh. Oh wow, he might be one of the best of our time. Yeah, <laughs> of our generation. He's, and he, he, 
you think about like the plot of this movie yeah. it getting approached. You're Matthew McConaughey. You, you're in your McConaissance. Yeah. yeah. You can choose pick and you're like, no, I'm not going to do a male stripper movie. No. And then you get to, to, that's what I think is crazy about acting. The way you read a script is going to be different from the way I see a script is going to be a way you see a yeah. script is completely different yeah. because I can't imagine being approached with this. I only know it was going to be fantastic because I'm born and bred from the, the yeah, cloth of this Tatum. film. Yes. Yeah. yeah. He went to the high school not far from me. Wow. That's, oh, yeah, he went to right. Jesuit high. Well, all he, boys Catholic school. He wrote this movie or it was based on his life? It was based, based on his based, life. Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, Ybor City is where he did his stripping. Like this whole film is like. Tampa in a nutshell, to yeah. the T. We'll talk yeah. about that. But so, I couldn't believe how yeah. they got so many megastars to trust. I think it's the Mr. director, Soderbergh. Dude, Mr. Soderbergh. Yeah. Because he's coming off of the Oceans franchise. And yeah. they're just like, yeah, no, your style with telling all of this stuff mm -hmm. and and editing. I, I think editing is the the true hero in this whole movie. Yeah. Yeah. There are Pacing. such quick and abrupt cuts between scenes. It was just like, oh, blah, 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 blah. And like almost in a way of you're watching something and you're living out your life, not watching something, I'm sorry. You're living out your life and the parts of it that you remember and the parts of it you don't are cut out of your entire life. Yeah. Or cut right. out of, as soon as you forget something or as soon as you are over with the core issue in the conversation mm -hmm. or a part of your day or whatever, it's almost as if the movie cuts to the next scene in yeah. your life. And it's just so fantastic. Yeah, it's so good. It's also like the way that this is shot is very slice of lifey. It's very like, slice of life. It it the camera lands and stays with people that most directors would like cut to the yeah. conversation. It yeah. plays on a lot of silence. It yeah. plays in awkward moments. Yep. It's it's very artistically it's, done. It's yeah. yeah, yeah. Big time. And I mean Soderbergh is also very famous for things being lightly funny. And he yeah. almost has like a, a guy richiness to it. Yeah, him. definitely. Um, because this was also lightly funny. I was I going into it, I I knew that he directed it. And I was like, okay, so where's the heist? When it, who who's mm -hmm. stealing something? Yeah, right. There was um, some funny money shenanigan business yeah. stuff happening. We got the conflict. Yeah, yeah, we did. But can I say, can I touch on something yeah. way that you like briefly Skirted by you, you rubbed yeah. your dick up gently against Jesus. Sorry, I'm in the mood because ma magic. Ma you saw magic. Yeah. Yeah, I, his dick I, up it, it's got me a lot. It's got me riled up. Yeah. yeah. I went into this not really knowing who Channing Tatum was. I knew that this From was magic based Night. on Tampa. Yeah, yeah, I knew that. I knew is this he was. First time you saw this. No. Is yeah, this that's the first time. No. So no, you're no, taking no, us back. Sorry, I'm taking no, this way back. You, you okay, heard God, about Channing Tatum in 2012. Am, yes. And yeah. I'm like, oh, he was the step up guy. Why would I yeah. fucking like this Who guy? Because he can dance his ass off. That's right. And he's fucking funny. Yeah. yeah. And charming as hell. Yeah, it's like unfair how funny he is. It's it's unfair. It's unfair. Yeah. Nothing it like is, the men in Tampa. Right. Okay. There aren't any men that exist like that. So wholesome. But maybe that's why he became famous. Yes, it 100% yeah. was because he had a genuinely gold heart. And you could tell he's not playing a character. Yeah. yeah. He's playing his life. He's playing himself. Yeah. And yeah. as we've seen him flourish into the superstar that he is, we obviously see like that is who he is. And yeah. this is like his first version, iteration yeah. of himself. I will, I will say this until the day I die. The hardest I have ever laughed in a movie theater is in 22 Jump Street oh, yeah. <laughs> when he fucking finds out that um, his partner, Channing Tatum's partner, yes. uh, was fucking the captain's daughter. That yeah. It is moment. that, like, just like the the the, the timing <laughs> of it and just how committed he is yeah. to oh. fucking just, I, I'm sure in the script they're just like, and blah, 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 and then he goes wild. Yeah. And then... Channing Tatum, Tatum read that and was yeah. just like, oh, fuck yes. I'm going around the entire office. I'm giving you, you a high five. You should not be that funny and yeah. hot. Well, it sort yeah. of, it changes the percent because 21 Jump Street, 22 Jump Street are really a, a love letter to Tatum. And if I may, it puts hot people on a different spectrum for me where <laughs> yeah. I don't want to accept a hottie that's just there to no. be pretty. No. Yeah. You have I, to be funny now you have to in have order a, to be hot. Yes. He, okay, so Thank Channing, you. Thank you. Channing, you get it. 
Channing, I'm, 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 and I might get flack for this, yeah. but Channing Tatum is the closest actor we have to being <gasps> as talented as the normal Bollywood star. Damn. Like, Interesting. as far as being funny, can, can do it act, all. and then is dance also can and dance and sing. And yeah. a good person and like a philanthropist. Can he right. sing? I don't I don't know. think he can. There's okay. no way. No, I think that's his fatal flaw. Because if right. he yeah. could, it's game over for you. Yeah, guys. yeah it's over. <laughs> yeah, there's, um, there's no he way. He in this movie is strong. Yeah. He is soft. Yeah. He's funny. Mm -hmm. He's tall. He's hot. He's fucking chiseled. Yeah. He's... It's one of those things where he's so chiseled that it's ugly. Oh. That you're like, am I attracted to someone this fucking ripped? Yeah. Or is it kind of gross? But then he un he undresses you with a wry smile. And right. It's like the things he <gasps> does to women. The, the um the in scene, this movie. This scene, I think one of the more like powerful or the most powerful scene for me. Yeah. Is the hip thrusting. The the hip thrusting, yeah. <laughs> That's um, powerful. No, the, the fucking pony scene. Of course, everybody's going to talk about that. Yeah. The pony Let's scene. And I've, I've heard insane. about this scene so much <laughs> from every My seat every is wet. Woman. Oh, my I God. I should not have Kelsey, sat on a velvet Jesus chair. Christ. Yeah, yeah, You're yeah. going to have to soak in some paper towels. I'm oh, a father <laughs> now. I'm a, I'm a pop That's pop. That's your I can't be talking about this. from here on out. I was waiting for it. We got one. Yeah, I'm let the games begin. I'm a yeah. I'm a pop now. I'm a, a pop. pop, 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 pop. I'm, a, I'm a daddy. But that scene, and you know that was his actual dance from when he was of yes, a stripper which in so cool. Ebor yeah. City. Yeah, like that's uh, like what he was. We need to take a moment, and I'm, I, yeah. and you better fucking give it to me, you two. You better give it to me. What to allow Jesus Tampa to have its moment? Oh yeah, is yeah. it in this movie? The character of Tampa yeah. in this film. Yeah. <laughs> In some ways, Tampa is a second character. It is. Yeah. Sunny. Yeah. It's rainy. Mm -hmm. It's beachy. Uh -huh. It's apartmenty. Uh -huh. Yeah. It's it's trucks. Yeah. It's and trucks. it fucks. It's and it trucks fucks. and yeah, it fucks. Damn right. And you can afford oceanfront property as a fucking stripper. Which so yes. rocks. Yeah. You sure That's fucking sick. can. And not only yeah. oceanfront, one of the best beaches in the world. Yeah. St. Pete Peters. But it's in Tampa. It's in Tampa. It's in St. Petersburg. Okay. But it's also in Tampa. Clearwater. It's Scientology. Yeah. yeah. But this movie could not be more Tampa. Like everything yeah. from yeah. the drugs to the like meandering of life after high school. As a Tampa. As a tampon. As a tampon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> do you feel that the movie is glossing Tampa over or do you feel like it's giving a, it's giving it just desserts? <laughs> Do you feel like this movie represents Tampa accurately? Or do you think that it's like getting people psyched on Tampa and they probably shouldn't be? The only movie that does a better job <laughs> of accurately portraying Tampa perfectly yeah. is Zola. That Zola film. Oh, oh yeah. What's it called? It's called Zola, no? Oh, yeah. Which well, I didn't is that watch. not called Zola? Based on, I think it is. And it's based on a Twitter thread. Or yeah, the Twitter thread movie. Um, no, I did not yes. see that movie. But you I didn't see, see Zola? No. no. But I heard it was fun. Yeah. Oh my god! Okay, Riley Keough, our girl, is it? Yeah. Not? When I tell you, it's Nicholas Braun. Nicholas Braun, love that. It. These two movies somehow get the beauty and motelliness. Yes, of Florida. That's yeah. where, like, I the drugs the the luxury. entire time the entire time I was watching. I was like, oh, all of these buildings are built for hurricanes. Yes, that's yeah. what it felt like. Oh, yeah, yeah, hurricanes don't bother us. At all. Yeah, Hurricanes don't bother me anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh those are the lyrics. Oh I don't God. think those are the lyrics. But you know what I also say? I um I uh, a scene that really strikes me hard is when makes he's, you hard. What makes me hard. <laughs> when he <laughs> comes you. out of the club and he sort of has this unanimous respect from everyone in the community mm. and he's got his little diamond earrings. That's a cool scene to me. Yeah. The amount of diamond earrings I have allowed into my holes. <laughs> oh my into your God. holes? You've oh put you've put them in your holes. Yeah, that I yeah. that Why was would you, you such a luck. That's it was not a what they're for. Status symbol. Yeah. You was like, you are making money. For yeah. a moment at when I saw that scene, I thought, should me. I should I get, should get a diamond sucks. earring? When this I tell sucks. you the gaudier the better. Yeah. Like your earlobes should be flapping down a little. Sure. And I'm like, do you sell drugs or is like your mm -hmm. family in d diamonds? Like, yeah. I don't, I don't want to know. I yeah. want to be really fearing for my life. 
yeah. the same time that we're hooking up. As as someone who has shopped for diamond, diamond earrings, earrings yeah. Yes. Tell me. Anybody with those big ass shits mm -hmm. are like they're either fake as hell mm -hmm. or that is the richest person yeah. you've ever <laughs> seen in your fucking life. And you don't know in Tampa. Yeah, yeah. Because everyone's wearing flip flops. That's insane. So you're just like He was oh. wearing fucking Jinko shorts. He used Jinkos, like, like, yeah. The the one thing that he nailed was the attire of Florida. Oh wow. Like from yeah. the beach wear yeah. to he from the jeans. Yeah. The uh, cutoffs. Um, mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I've been. Th I, I'm still thinking about the pony scene. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, it's really. Please, but the, yeah, please but don't apologize. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Give it. <laughs> <laughs> the Broadway version. Yeah, here it no, comes. But, but like I. So I've I've heard about that scene. Yeah. Pretty consistently throughout. Like anytime anybody brings up Magic Mike, mm -hmm, they're yeah. thinking about that and him spinning on the rope. Uh. Right. So like the pony scene, I didn't know it was juxtaposed with the girl f like kind of falling for him, mm -hmm. but then also being disgusted yeah. by it. I love it. It was so sick. Like he's just dancing his ass off. Those and it's two like, actors. Yeah, it was. It, they were fantastic. So Both raw. Of, yeah, yeah. Because it's like it's uh, the music is also coming from the speakers. It's not scored, mm -mm. right? So it's coming yeah. from the speakers mm. of the club. So you're just hearing Lame that. Lame style. Yeah. <laughs> it was recorded <laughs> on set. On set. Lame Miz took a <laughs> lot set, from baby. Magic Mike. I yeah. see that. It took yeah. a lot. Yeah. It took a lot from Magic Mike. Lame Miz. Yeah. yeah. Oh, the Oscar winning yeah. film. Yeah. 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 Um, but yeah, like it, there was like, I guess the tampaness of it, of it being like kind of kind of dirty yes you know, it's, it's like gross yeah, a little. yeah it's kind of grungy a bit yeah but like grunge in a um a, not like oh a lot not of people trendy live here grungy. not yeah. trendy grungy like but like gross grungy like gross grungy like like oh there's like um muscles growing on the outside of the house yeah. yes or some shit like that or like, like I, i'm the telling bottom you. of a boat yeah. the like, bottom of a boat yeah scrubbing like Salt water <coughs> yeah. and gold is right. like the best way I can. Right. But we like should fake do a, a documentary ever... about you going back to Tampa to revisit your roots. I'm yeah, so glad should. you brought this up because I did do an episode <laughs> when we were at BuzzFeed for Am I Doing This Right? Which yeah. was the money episode where half of the episode we're in New York City interviewing Ariana Huffington about yeah. her wealth. Incredible. And then we go down to Florida and I brought Garrett Warner. That's great. Steven Cantor, Henry yeah. Lovner to my house in Tampa. That's huge. And then we took my father's Corvette out and drove to the strip clubs and we interviewed a stripper That's from because most people don't know this tampa has the number one strip clubs in the world of course more than vegas oh really yeah, yeah. voted higher than vegas like when you want to be a stripper you like you practice in miami to yeah. dance in tampa you know what's really? funny yeah. I, I wonder I, I don't remember this exactly and if i'm wrong about it who cares no not it's us. a comedy podcast yeah mm -hmm. um but uh you know how in the big short they go down to florida to interview strippers it's exactly Is, it's tampa probably yeah and when i tell you <laughs> Very illegal things happened in those strip clubs with me and my high school friends because that was just what you did. Yeah. You had no, nothing else to do. You were already like, well, if I'm not into yeah. like hillbilly heroin and cow tipping, yeah. I guess I'm going to go downtown and like fuck around at strip clubs underage, I right. guess. Yeah. From the Odyssey to the Pink Pony. Mm -hmm. I mean, I have very narrowly lost my life being beat up from some some bouncers who was not getting a cut of my of my my earnings for the night. Yeah. Oh, your earnings. Yes. Okay. Have I amateurly stripped underage in Tampa? May who knows? You did? Who knows? Yes, Miles is oh, wow. Me and my girl. Kelsey, this is fascinating. We would take our guy friends and we'd drive <laughs> down, we'd like pack up the SUV and we'd go downtown and we'd go to the strip club and then we'd make friends with the girls and they'd be like, "Come up here." And we'd be like, "Okay." Yeah. We're 15. G yeah. Garrett, clear your schedule because we're going to get subpoenaed. Yeah, we, yeah, we, yeah, we, we got to get some stuff out. But we got to get subpoenaed really yeah, quick. And right. then we're just going to take a quick commercial break. Yeah. And we'll be right back. Oh, my God. Miles is a father now. He I am not a be father. <laughs> you got to eat. You know, I do it three times a day, sometimes more. You want to make good quality meals for yourself so you feel good. You want to be a little whiz in the kitchen, but maybe you're like me. Maybe uh, you're not the best cook, or maybe you don't have time to go shopping. Maybe you're trying to learn. Maybe you just want something that's easy. 
That is why I love HelloFresh. They make cooking fun, approachable, and most of all, they do the hard work for me. You're gonna make mealtime easy with delicious recipes made with fresh, wholesome ingredients delivered to your door. Look, the cost of groceries are going up and up now. It's the perfect time to get started with HelloFresh. They are cheaper than grocery store shopping and 25% less expensive than takeout. Green Chef is owned by HelloFresh. I've worked with and I love both brands. Uh, go to HelloFresh.com slash Guilty60 and use code Guilty60 for 60% off plus free shipping. Wow, that's a good deal. That's HelloFresh.com slash Guilty60 and use code Guilty60 for 60% off plus free shipping. HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. In this baby. No, if Julian, when he's 18, wanted to strip Would in you? Tampa. Would you? I'd consider it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he'd make a bed. I, well, a I'd, I'd be like, I yeah. feel like if my kid wanted to strip, I'd yeah. be like, you don't have the body for that, buddy. Oh, you I, know what? I, let's take some dance classes. Take That's some how dance it started. Classes. I'd say, until you can prove yeah, that you yeah, have yeah, the yeah. moves to bed. Right, I don't want right. you to just go out there and flap it around. Right. No. I want you to make sure I you have the moves. I want my kids to be the best at whatever he's doing Absolutely. or she's doing Absolutely. or they're doing. Like, yeah. I... You you better not fucking embarrass me. Nope. You better not embarrass. You better be the yeah. best. There's at this nothing shit. worse than a bad stripper. No, there's nothing sad. Yeah, if I see That's you the up there standing the around, like like um, what was this? They called him the Virgin or the, the kid, kid yeah. and he just went Couldn't out dance. and just un 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 undressed. Yeah. I did not like. I was him. about to boo. Oh. I was about to boo the camera. Well, he was a he was a, vi a villain. He's a villain. Yeah, he is a so villain. I think he kind of sucks. Yeah. Here's the thing. What? I've seen Magic Mike a hundred times. I forgot about that kid. Me too. Right. I yeah. forgot the right. story was about this hot kid. Yeah. Who is that actor? I just looked him up and followed him on Instagram. He's got like a million followers. Yeah, he's of in course. like some YA shit. He's British. What? Yeah, that's interesting. Is he the like the only Mason? accent I fucking believed? Wow. I've never seen a British actor yeah. where I wasn't like, you're obviously British. Yeah. But he has those eyes, those like beady eyes and that chiseled chin where you're like, oh, once you realize he's British, you're like, I see it. I, I, thought, I, I thought Harry Styles was convincing though. Accent wise, get out. Um, <laughs> You've lost your touch. The other thing I was curious about is okay, so he's obviously making bank yes. at the yeah. strip club. Why is he? I know that it's his dream to be a contractor, but it seems like a little grueling, right? Furniture yeah. making. He's making furniture. He, he, wants he was to working be on a house at the beginning, right? Well, he owns a construct. He he helps get jobs at construction projects. That's right. Yeah. No, he wants to be a woodworker. Yeah. He, he wants to sit by the beach, make a table, and make a, a custom table, That's one of kind. Terrible tables. Terrible. Did you see those terrible. NOS? The NOS ones? Oh I was my. like, are you out of your fucking mind? Because he owns but a he's... car detail and accessories. Yeah. Oh, okay. He's a carpenter so, just like Jesus. Yeah. Oh, well. That he's Jesus. Out. I thought it was like a thing. <laughs> I was going to bring up that, oh, his stuff is actually kind of ugly. And that's yeah. why he didn't get the loan. Yeah. yeah. But the I, I, I guess he, he was did. just like getting things that, that came ashore and then turning <laughs> that into furniture. Yeah. Or what? Or was she wood. like shitting on him? No, she. I think it was that he was he was repurposing. He was repurposing recycling. Things. He was fighting global warming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Al Gore would have been proud. He, Al Gore would have been proud. Ugh, God, our guy. Al Gore would have been proud of our guy. Wow. I think the cast in this. Yeah, it's phenomenal. Is so fun. Matt like the, Boomer. Matt, Matt Boomer, Boomer, a gay man acting yeah. as a straight cuck. Well, you know, actually, that's one thing that. I mean, this movie, 2012, you said? Yeah. yeah. So I guess it's a little before that. I'm curious, and I don't know if the rest of the Magic Mike movies... To me, um, the uh, relationship between male strip clubs and gay men is a handshake. It's just... It's of course. But I feel like in Tampa, is that how it is? It's yeah. Florida. Is it, is it for... Is it for women or is it or for is it gay for men or is it mixed? It is so for women. Yeah, yeah, that's so interesting to me. And I don't think the culture in florida is as like obviously yeah. women strip clubs are the top tier in tampa it's yeah. not a lot of male strip clubs i went to the magic mike mm -hmm. strip show in vegas and it's uh, for everybody and it is so fun yeah that's it, what i've heard they, but that's like that's something based off of a movie that's not like it, it i'm was, here yeah. for your entertainment yeah no 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 i, I wouldn't say I, there's maybe one or two clubs i can think of in tampa that are male strip clubs that are like yeah worth yeah, well, it was interesting because like banana hammock, all that. Yeah, yeah, where you're like, oh, he's not some like older leathery. 
Yeah. Leather, leatherly, leatherly, leather, leather, leathery, leathery. leathery. Man. To yeah. me, it's something. Leather. So Sarah, uh, for her bachelorette party, I hope she doesn't mind mentioning. They tried to get a male stripper, and they eventually did. But there was a whole weird thing where they had to call a bunch of them, and they kept being like, "Are there any men there?" Oh. And she'd be like, "Yeah, there's a, a a man who's one of her friends who is gay, who is one of her like bridesmaids." Okay, and they wouldn't do it. Oh, that's for, weird. Which is really weird, but I think that that's actually common in in this really stupid way where male stripping, which is something that's so flamboyant, of course, yeah. is like, you know, there's a lot of homophobia, which is crazy. A lot of men in West Hollywood, gay clubs, yeah. all the go-go dancers are mostly straight men. That's fascinating. They know what they're doing. They're yeah, sure. like, these are our men. Yeah. And I'm glad we've brought up our personal connections to stripping <laughs> beyond my amateur hour. Yeah. Um, I, I'm friends with a male Magic Mike Chippendales esque wow. no stripper way. in Los Angeles. Wow. Fascinating. I went to a bachelorette party and yeah. he was a hoot, of a course. hoot and half. Of course. And I said, Can I get your number? Yeah. I don't know when I'm ever going to need it, but I just want to have it. Yeah. yeah, you got it. And in and case sure break, enough, in case of emergency. Recently, I, I threw a birthday party for a pal and I said, he's a man, he's a bi man. And I said, you know what would be so funny? Mm. If Jay the stripper, that was his name, Jay, Jay the stripper showed up, texted Jay, I said, hey man, yeah, this time, this place, yeah, I got you. Yeah. He showed up pretending to be a fireman. Yeah, hilarious. He walked in and Incredible. said, there's a noise complaint. Everyone was freaking the fuck out. Yeah, because they knew. And they knew. And we went outside and we were like, come in, yeah. come inside. And my friend came in whose birthday it was. And we sat him down in a chair and he looked at me and he said, are you fucking kidding me? And Jay looked at me and he brought his boom box out <gasps> and he said, it's hot in here. We're going to burn the house down. And I whipped out two fat Stacks of ones, two fifty and one. Start That's awesome! Yeah. yeah, and Jay, my guy, my guy, Jay, <laughs> picked up a like hundred and twenty pound chick in the audience and spun her around <gasps> like a pizza pie <laughs> over his fucking head. He was so strong. He. Made six people pregnant that night. Yeah. Whoa. And two of them were men. Whoa. Yeah. And we were just, it was the most fun. It brought it like after that, the party was popping. The drugs were out. Everyone's dongs were out. It was a. Hoot. Everyone's dongs were out. Oh yeah. Everyone dongs was ready out. to go oh, after Jay. Was okay. there, actually here, I do have a question. Mm -hmm. Was there open pee pee? <laughs> Be an adult. Was there a Being penis adult. present? Yes. Was there a penis present? So that is the full Monty. Yeah. That's what it's called. Yeah. And you have to pay extra. Okay, yeah. Sure. And did you? What do you think? Yeah. yeah. yeah you did. <laughs> I start, I ordered him as like whatever. And then yeah. when he got there, I was like, everyone was having such a good time. I was like, let's throw the full Monty on oh my tab. Like, yeah. okay, throw it on my tab. And Kelsey has a hundred thousand dollars on a tab. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, with, with I'm so in J. debt. Yeah. He yeah. knows where my family lives. I've paid off the you're, rest of my you're life. You're paying it off like student it's loans. just like Magic Mike. There were men after me. Yeah, yeah. Um, But I cannot recommend this enough. Getting a male stripper as a friend in your life will be the best addition. Yeah. Ladies and men. Yeah. To your phone books. Yeah. Yeah. Get a stripper friend. Oh my God. It we, made everything better. Infinitely better. Yeah. And and I think that, and I actually, I think we should watch all of these movies on, I agree. on the show. When yeah. did it get bad? So I, I have heard, I've, I think I've seen the first two and I've heard that they kind of, um, the first one was like a, a hit with everybody. It was like, it's yeah. a film and it's also like wildly sexy. People are seeing it and they're being like, I don't care about all this like drama and the cool shots. I just want to see the dong. Yeah. Oh, they great. went to Dong. Which is fine. So the second one I've heard is mostly cameos and more about dancing. this road trip yeah. and dancing. It's good. And I remember It's mostly dancing. One. Yeah. And then the third one I think is even more than that. The third one's the new one that the just came out? The third one's the new one that just came out and I've heard it's really, really bad. I've heard it's also very, really bad. Which but we I, have to get there because I want us to watch it. But can I tell you why it's bad? Yeah. Because when you are at a... When you are trying to make male stripping at a commercial level of success, yeah. it's no longer fun. No. Yeah. What makes this fun is it's fucking gross. Is yeah. that it's gross. And that's what like I loved about this one is that it's just talking about the real life of male strippers. Yes. Or yeah. just like, yeah, I can strip, but I also have to take care of these other things. It mm -hmm. is a springboard for, yeah. for everything else. Or I could strip for the rest of my life and then have like a pretty solid career. 
But you're not, you know, you're not Magic City no. making it like that. You're not yeah. walking around like a lot of these women are. Mm-mm. So you kind of, you do have to have like a side job. And that, mm. like the in-betweens of it and the life in between yeah. is beautiful mm. in my in my opinion. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And making it just about male stripping is now... Now you're doing it for entertainment yes. and not for trying to make a story. You're trying yes. to like make an artful version of this. Yeah. 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 It, it got too mainstream. It got yeah. too mainstream. Yeah. This it's felt giving... like an indie film, yes. honestly, which is very weird because it's, it's yeah. like top level talent. Yo, yeah, totally. Yeah. yeah. McConaughey's never been better. Literally yeah. like down to the color of the, yeah. the yeah. film. Like right. It was gritty. grainy. Yeah. It was gritty. It was like, oh shit, there's like drugs and fights and like yeah. right. and like real danger there's like a kid that's yeah. Get, yeah. getting out of hand he's coming a little bit of a punk yeah and like you're you also that are you, i'm sorry no. that, to, to cut yeah. you off that that fuck that kid like yeah, he sucks right fuck, fuck him he he the way that he lied yeah. um and saying that he only had like a grand worth of pills in mm-hmm. his backpack yeah. and that's what he left it's just like if you were an actual adult, you'd and say you'd be like, "Oh shit, no, we actually really do but need to go back." But he was playing a nineteen-year-old. That's There's I know n- that man is not nineteen. That man no. is not nineteen in any way. He looks no. twenty-five. Do you have any guilt about this film? Um, because even my my version is yeah. even the guilt worked. Like even the yeah. smutty, like the the scene you get with McConaughey giving the dance lesson in the studio, yeah. like the rehearsal. Yeah. Like even that was it knew what it was. Yes. Yeah. The mirror was dirty. That's yes. what was Oh yeah, that crazy. rules. That by was, the way. I was like, let's fucking go. Stick yeah. your mirror. A stick if you're going to actually do what you're setting out to that's yeah. direction right there. That's almost like if somebody was going to clean the mirror. Yeah. Um, because that's their job. And he was like, actually, no. Don't. Don't. Don't clean the mirror. I don't think the mirrors would be clean in this type of place and this type of establishment. People who have their hands all over the mirror. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. It's like you'd see fingerprints and Mm -hmm. all that shit. Yeah. Like, if you are taking a photograph of yourself to send to a loved one, Mm -hmm. (laughs) you clean the fuck out of the mirror. Yeah. You make sure your shit is not dirty because we've seen all of the tweets about guys' rooms. The toothpaste spots. The toothpaste spots and all that shit. We have electric toothbrushes sometimes. They get a little wild. They go wild. They get a little wild. Yeah. Wet and wild. That's right. Yeah. So you clean the fuck out of it. Right? Yeah. So, like, for them to just be like, actually, this is the type of person that wouldn't clean their room before taking a nude. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. Valid. Let's 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 make this. We that. see you. We fun yeah. question. Yeah, you both. Congratulations, are male strippers. Yeah. yeah. Okay. What's your song that you're dancing to? Oh, that's oh. a great so question, Kelsey. Because he already destroyed Pony, you can't. I can't do Pony. No, no, no. no. There it is. There it is. Machado. Like you pulled a muscle in your back. Machado. Lately, <laughs> Oh, you know what's a recent one that'd be kind of good? Hmm. Actually, this is not be good, but fancy like. I'm fancy so like. fancy. No, oh. no, 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 that's Iggy. I G G Y. It's uh fancy is um it goes fancy like Applebee's on no! a Friday. <laughs> <laughs> Miles, why? Okay, that's not it though. Yeah. I gotta keep searching. I gotta think of one. You got one? What's like your bit? Like, are you a cowboy? Well, I guess that we got to start first from there. What's your storyline? Yeah, yeah, I don't know what my storyline. Well, I, well, first of all, I come out and <laughs> and it's like, hey, everybody, we're just gonna clean up the stage, and I'm in a janitor's yeah. costume. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean. Like, it seems like the show's over in a way, yeah, yeah. and I'm sort of like, doo, doo, doo. <laughs> like and sweeping come, up, and, and then, then I accidentally oh, fall on the speaker, and it starts playing my. It song. goes like. Eh! people are like you boo. fall on stage and like your pants fall off <laughs> <laughs> like your pants it's like, like splits open that's <laughs> also Oops. funny oh no I don't you know. have on like dirty underwear shit stained underwear oh my god <laughs> no miles yours is obviously that you're an overworked father yeah. Oh, yeah, you come out good, you yeah. have like a little baby blankie over your shoulder yeah. with spit up 
And you're like, I haven't slept. I'm in a diaper somehow. <laughs> well, I was gonna say, I was gonna say with the gender bit though, there could be water in the th in the thing. They do that in the second movie. Yeah, they do. Yeah. That's really good. But it's yeah. like I spray them and I have a mop and it's like Whoa. Ew, a dirty mop. <laughs> no, it's not dirty, Kelsey. <laughs> I guess it has to be. It's good. It's, it's gotta clean. be a little bit dirty. But my song, I mean, what's the sexiest song of all time? For I, a janitor? For a janitor to do. Yeah. Something clean about up, clean up. <laughs> Oh my God. You couldn't be more. What about like Skrillex or something cool? I, <laughs> so I've already thought about this. What? Yeah. I've thought about this for a good, yeah. not, not like Stop. a Why? Yeah. Um, Because you never know. How yes, you, like you do. You, you especially know. No, I don't know. Um, oh. So I think that my whole thing would be a mechanic. Yes, <laughs> Of course. A dirty mechanic. You That's your stripper on your fucking everywhere. face. Yeah. You got the button down yeah, with the patch down. on your yeah, name. Yeah, yeah, what's yeah. your name? Oh my God, what's your stripper name? It's, it's the first pet you ever had in the first street you grew up on. Rusty. <laughs> <laughs> Jewel was your first animal's name? Yeah, that was my, my sister's pet rabbit. Juba was our cat's name, but it's because it Juba in the Native American language Havasu it's, it's like a word because we lived on a reservation. What was the street name you grew up on? I can't say. Mine. My parents still live there. Are you ready? Yeah. yeah. Ready for it. My parents still live at mine, so please don't say it. Kiki Dawson. Oh, my really God. Good. That is my Honestly, porning. if you introduced yourself as Kiki Dawson to me, I'd say, me. absolutely. Nice yeah, to meet you, yeah, Kiki. Absolutely believe me. Nice to so meet you, Miss Dawson. Dawson. mechanic. Yeah. What's your song? I'm about to... Uh, no. Yeah. No, you were not. Something with horns. Yeah. Jason Derulo. <laughs> 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 that song? Couldn't pick a worse song. Here we go. Let's hear it. Nope. Wait, what's going on? Oh, I like the wheel. No. Uh, <laughs> what is, this is not it. What about Gasolina? Oh, Gasolina. That's not bad. Are you sure it's not Gasolina? Because Are you playing Gasolina? Because it's actually be good with the mechanic bit. Yeah. yeah. Gasolina. Gasolina. Yeah. Gasolina. And then you take the mechanic towel between your legs and you do the ring, ring, ring. You cover yourself in body oil, but it's from like oh a, a boil that says like pens oil, but you put. Body yeah. <laughs> and then you d d just drizzle it all over yourself. You yeah. slide across the stage like a slippery dolphin. Yeah. For like the janitor bit, it's like maybe I bleach show. myself. Asshole. Wow. <laughs> I'm really trying to find this song, but I, I think it's, it's, it's it, there's an ad's gonna play. <laughs> oh, you don't pay for premium, you no, broke I, bitch. I don't pay for you premium make YouTube. So much money. I don't make that. Much money. <laughs> he makes so much make money now. You fucking rich guy. Yeah. You rich pay for premium. He's just being cheap. I think Kiki Dawson's yeah. bit is that she's a cat lady. She comes out with a can of cat food. Yeah, that's not bad. And she's got a big flowery dress on. She's got like yeah. old wig lady. And she slowly yeah. starts to get yeah. more youthful as the song goes on. Honestly, the song that kind of I'm thinking about now to be a hot stripper song is that song by Ash Nico. How does it go? It's like, fuck the kitty, call me caddy. Talk too much, you're too chatty. <laughs> It's like really a good Miles song. Miles rapping like any sexy song is my wait, new favorite play, song. Wait, oh, you song. found it finally? Yeah. <laughs> Whatever that song is. It's what is the, this? It's is this song from like Fast end. and Furious? You dumb <laughs> bitch. I knew it. I was going to think of dun, 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 dun. No, dun, no dun, that's, dun, that one, that one's too, that one's too hack. I, there was that, that, that TikTok th uh, trend yeah. of people being like, I changed, I changed the light bulb in my car. And then they're like, <laughs> they like play that song and then like they pose next to Like you're a fucking mechanic in a white theater. <laughs> that's so, awesome. Yeah. Oh my that. God. That would hundred uh, percent be my song. Guys, maybe we should take guilty pleasures on the road. I do yeah. think that'd be fun. And, and we, we each get shit. to do our stripper dance. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Zach's out. Bad. We cut him out of the bit. Well, yeah. he cut, we cut him out of the. He deal. doesn't. He doesn't. Yeah, he Zach doesn't could be like fleet foxes it. or something. Yeah, yeah he doesn't. Yeah, it'd be too artistic. He tried to direct us, so he's out. Yeah, he's out. We're doing to him what Matthew McConaughey does to Channing Tatum in this movie. I will say that um, the mirror scene is very reminiscent of the 
um, John Travolta, Jamie. Yes, um, where they're dancing in. Is it? Uh, f- not, no, it's, not, it's definitely not Flash Dance. Uh, it's not. The fuck it's movie is that? Uh, 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 Boogie uh, Nights. No. No. What are you guys? How movie is that? About? You is haven't there, seen I, the, the, where there? It's the, there's like a clip of them. They're going in like, like a class, and and Jamie Lee Curtis. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing with your pelvis right now, but I'm going to. Jamie Lee Curtis is like stuff. really thrusting. We're gonna <laughs> put it in the video okay, version. I just saw Garrick's move, so I think we're taking the show off the road now. Yeah. I think we're putting it back in a box. No, no, and no. Garrick funny. needs to get. No, his it's a good move. Mechanic like a good tools move. pack Okay, so it's it's here we go. Yeah, this is what the scene is. What are you? It's, I'm telling you that I'm I'm doing it poorly because it's that's an what incredible they incredible scene. What does this have to do with Magic Mike? No, this it's is what the mirror, it, the, scene. the mirror scene looks like. Oh, I see. So and then there's a part where she. What are they wearing? She like gets next to him. What is this? this is like flash look, look at this. There it is. <laughs> okay, so it's giving. Don't know how to move my hips. Exactly. That's okay. what I'm. Yeah. I have a Sherpa pole in my house. You do? Garrick's yeah, been on we it. get it. You have an alternative lifestyle. Yes. <laughs> Garrick, I yeah, made him niche. do it when he came over to visit. I said, do right. it. Try it. See how hard it is. Stripping. Yeah, it's very hard. Oh my God, it's so hard. It is the most upper body strength you have to yeah, have. I can't do it. But you know what I'll say is um, something that I didn't know for a long time is that the stripper pole moves. Garrick also didn't know that until he came over. Yeah. I was like that really wowed that by that. Fun. You can lock it and you do lock it when you do want to do more advanced tricks because you don't want to be spinning, dangling, yeah. dangling. Right. But that's way advanced shit. That's like you got calluses between your thighs. That's yeah. crazy. That's... I've I've uh been to a strip club where the girl got she she went all the way up to the ceiling, went upside down and started twerking upside down. That's incredible. That, which was fucking sick. That's like, Power. This, that's like Cirque du Soleil. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. The whole yeah. time we were just like impressed. Like, yeah. dude, dog, that's, that's like, I'm physical. not even horny. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Yeah. You were, you were <laughs> a fucking core, a, a feat of core strength. Yeah. yeah. Incredible. I, I was not um, impressed by anything in this movie. I was horny. The okay. whole time, there was yeah. nothing that they did where I was like, "I have to love." Yeah, because they're not they're not doing <laughs> yeah. stripper tricks. No, women stripper tricks are superior. Yeah, yeah. There absolutely. isn't a lot of. Well, there's that not really involved. a pole here. There's no pole because the pole is. In he their does pants. the spin. There's not a single pole. The no pole. pole is the penis. Yeah. How do you guys feel about hooking up with strippers? Oh, great. I mean, it's great. I feel like that's mi- mixing business and pleasure. I'm really? probably gonna cut this out, Rainy. But no, I dated a stripper in college for a little bit. You wow. did, but she like went to school with us. She just also stripped. Don't you wow. fucking dare take this out! I cannot believe it's you not call like- me an alternative <laughs> lifestyle. <laughs> Miles, you I am a father. <laughs> created a professional. I did. Dancer? Although she, uh, yeah, she was. Was a it student. a titty bar? What, it was no, full no. nude, full puss, full bush? Ooh, I wish full I had told full you this. Bush. <laughs> No, it was in. She would go I'm down. She, she would go to Myrtle Beach, uh-huh. in uh, North Carolina, and she would drive down for the weekend, and she would do like her routine for a and while. And then she would come. She also up had with a. She also had a boyfriend she though. She was Polly. What? She was Polly, and I was like her extra. Wait, so you weren't her? Boyfriend? No, I was not her boyfriend. Huh. I just like was we dating her. Dated. The pot calling the fucking <laughs> kettle. It's a very Kelsey move, Black. honestly. Yeah. It's actually something the you would do. The audacity <laughs> of this That's man. very of fair. Miles, what's your middle name? McCall. James Bonsignore. You know, it's a, it's it's a very call <laughs> me wild. This man probably is in defeat. What I'm not in a feet. Weirdly? Objection. He's sucking a toe at Objection. night. Objection. I'm not yeah. sucking anybody's toes. Yeah, you snoring K out of someone's bum. <laughs> oh what else have you done that you're going to make fun of me for, eh? Snorting. Do you feel like this is new news, <laughs> Jesus Christ. This is you, new news. You, okay, but you went from yeah. he's a stripper to you're probably snorting K, K, K out of his bum. Can I tell said. you why? why? I went to a stand-up show recently where the drag queen who was the stand-up was like, yeah. Where are all my boys who've done a, a bump off a ball sack and like everyone cheered? A lot, like a couple people cheered. And huh. I went home and I said to my partner, I've never done a bump off a ball sack. Yeah. Seems like an inopportune and you, place. Like it seems like a place with a lot of crevices. And then you did it. And then you did, it. And then you did <laughs> the bump off the ball sack. And then you did the bump off the ball sack. And she did the bump. Although to me, a ball sack is an inopportune place to do a bump because yeah, it's because crevicy, they, crevicy well, we wrinkles. T- the, the drag queen talks about this. You got to get it a little cold. You got to blow on it a little bit. So it goes and it sucks up and it creates a ridge. Like a brain. 
like a brain. It's like doing a line. <laughs> no, 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 no. Not in a good a way. It is like a brain. Yeah. yeah. Giving brain, giving brain. Okay. And where did we? How, how did we are we see, why are we the even still talking happened? about this movie? Yeah, so the movie was good. It was really good. <laughs> like that's all. I think all. that that's like that's all it. we need Do we to have say. Fun facts? It's a fantastic. No, no, there's oh, no fun okay. facts. But let's the look fun them up facts right now. The fucking movie. The, the fun movie fact is fun. Is I'm sure this that this movie, movie has is good incredible. Fun facts. Actually, you know what? Let me hang on. Just uh, let me pull them up on IMDb and I'll present yeah. them to you. Oh, um, oh, there he is. Oh, there he is. I've there got, is. I've got some. Yeah. Okay, some reservations amongst cast members where people. Also, Zachary, I think you've missed maybe our best episode. What are you talking about? This yeah. was maybe the funny. I'm I've laughed so hard that I'm actually sweating. Hey everybody, Zach's here. You know, oh, just, your mic's not on. Yeah, cool. <laughs> no, it's on. Anyway, hey everybody, Zach's a here. Fun fact, what do you mean? Magic- what do you mean anyway? I came in a little mid episode of energy. Oh no, we're done. No, we're not. Yeah, we are. No, we're, we're not. Done. We're, we're done. for a Shirzy's done. No. Forty five minutes. No way. Yeah. Well, did we talk about director Steven Soderbergh? Yes. Yeah. Wait, that oh, was no. the first we, thing oh, we, we did. Missed, we didn't did you talk guys about talk the about Steven Soderbergh <laughs> no. and how he's just a gift to cinema? We, yeah, that I was think the, he is. That's what we opened with. Though. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Did you talk about how Channing Tatum is a really good comedic actor and it's like frustrating? We literally yeah. spent an okay, entire okay, chapter yeah. on it. It is. You're you're going down the line chronologically. Yeah. Okay. Did oh, we, we talk did. about male strip shows and how they're objectively funnier and more fun than we, female we, strip shows? Do you think with your girl here we would have missed that? Well, then can I say? Yeah, please. Team, get out. Great episode. <laughs> great, great episode. And guess okay, what? We're going to be watching the next two yeah. movies in this franchise. I have a fun fact. Okay. Matthew McConaughey was He's signed on. Movie? Yeah. <laughs> I'm kidding. Leave. Um, his role Damn did it. not require him to strip, but he, he wanted to. <laughs> That's what the fuck I'm talking about. He was about. welcome that's, to. That that's rule. what and makes you the best of the he best. Said, yeah. He said, I would regret it for the rest of my life if I was in a male stripper movie and I didn't get up there and strip myself. At first it was percent. scary that's as incredible. hell, but then it became like a drug and I couldn't wait to do it again. He also didn't use a body double in this film. Damn Hello, right. big dicks out. <laughs> and then in one scene, an extra who was stuffing bills down his waistband accidentally tore off his oh. his um, extra thong and his dingling did come out mm. and the um, extra kept the thong as a souvenir. Kept his dick. That feels interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Does Matthew kind McCon- of have a hog right, right in home about? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I didn't know. I didn't read. I didn't clock it, but. Um, it was also. You think a man who speaks like that and yeah. calls himself in the future his own hero doesn't have a hog to write home about? No, he definitely has a hog right yeah, now. Soderboro. Soderbergh. I know. <laughs> Soderboro. Sodden Hyman um, talked Channing Tatum into splitting the relatively modest $7 million budget for this film. They self financed it. Oh, they oh, both. Wow. Oh, that's rules. It almost bankrupted. Bankrupted, bankrupted yeah. Tatum. Yeah. But he probably made so much he fucking money and off of it this. It made them each about sixty million a piece. Yeah, yeah. that. This is rules. what I'm fucking that's 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 talking awesome. about. So he's also a good businessman. Yeah. Are yeah. you out of your fucking mind? Who is this <laughs> yeah. person? He's perfect. Steven uh-huh. Soderbergh is so cool because he yeah. said a couple years ago, "I'm quitting." Hollywood, I'm not going to make movies anymore. Yeah. And what he actually meant was, I'm just going to do whatever the fuck I want. Yeah, middle yeah. finger to all y'all. Damn right. Yeah. He made maybe the greatest blockbuster of all time in Ocean's Eleven. Mm. Yeah. He and has just spent the last decade making dope, weird stuff. That's yeah. so cool. Wait, what was the other one? Uh, Logan Lucky? Or yeah, Lucky, Lucky Logan? Logan Lucky. Lucky Logan? Logan Lucky was fun. It wasn't I as good it. as... It was I, cool. I liked, I liked how, like grungy it was yeah oh it was, my god i just discovered the best fun fact oh let's yeah. go so i don't i don't even care what you were saying because this uh, is more important okay. <laughs> classic kelsey R- rude but okay big dick richie played by joe Manganiello. 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 in the second one or is he in this one he is in this one All did right. not use a fake prosthetic penis for that scene where uh, his schlong is out mm. wait it's yeah, his penis we, it's his real dingling yeah, we've we've Yeah, we've I mean heard Joe Manganiello probably his is of course fucking yeah. forearm. He did use a penis pump to prepare. Oh, well that's not fair. 
but it is not a fake or a body double uh, doubles. And Tatum remembers Manganiello being so meticulously method that he was almost blacking out from constantly using the dick pump. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> he was <laughs> so his shit was so inflated that he was, he was gonna almost, black out. I mean, he took wait. all the blood from his body. Into his fucking his body. Cock. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong, but Kelsey, I feel like you're the right person to ask about this. Does a penis <laughs> okay, pump? Mr. Like a yeah, yeah, Mr. Yeah, yeah. Sex working. We, we found the out. The shit I, I learned about no, Miles no. in this episode, Miles is, by is the way. Freak. No. A fucking freak. I just All said I in college. I don't ever want to hear anything about my alternative <laughs> choices in life. What did I miss? No, Miles in college, I'm a father now. To yeah, himself. Miles is out here sucking and fucking. Oh. I'm a married man. I'm a married man. No, in college, I dated uh, a, stripper. A, a stripper, and she was. Polyamorous. So he was I, the third. In I was the third relationship. Just for like a casual dating situation. How? Yes. <laughs> I must have talked about Thank this. We we have done a, over almost a hundred episodes. Yeah, I've done nearly three hundred pod <laughs> episodes with you. That's th- yeah. that's four hours. And not hours. once Days. have you mentioned that yeah. you were the third in a relationship. Now and that she, he's a dad, he's she just like ah, the old days. I can finally expose yeah. myself. I for think the that's horror that I, I was. I was not holding back. Locked, locked I wasn't the mother. fuck down. We're yeah. gonna be tabling this conversation yeah. and discussing it on our lesser watch show, the tripod. The tripod. Well, you know what? There's no way the tripod is a lesser watch show than this. No, it's it needs help if you guys could go support yeah, check our out the tripod it's a niche uh, sort of show but um no and then <laughs> it's an indie she <laughs> uh she gave me her scooter and its name was candy <laughs> and i rode around on her like a little vespa for the whole summer because she moved to egypt what was her stripper name i don't know mm. you never saw her strip no oh, she you, would go oh, yeah, down out of town oh yeah to did. It. it was a private show but she would always be like yeah you know what i uh she was like she worked at a sports bar as well in town, and she was always like, yeah, I get way, way more harassed at the sports bar than I do at the strip club. Of course. Oh, yeah, because they Which have so protections. Yeah, there's, yeah, there's of course. laws. Yeah, there's like laws there. Well, also like men that would literally kill you. They would yeah. beat the shit out yeah, of you. Yeah, at, at a sports bar. Yeah. Right. Do you guys remember when I stripped? <laughs> yes. Um. What? <laughs> <laughs> did you strip for a uh, video? Buzz we did it. Yeah, yeah. We don't. We don't use that word here, Kelsey. Oh. Yeah, we Buzzfeed. We uh. Well, we don't use that sorry. here. We're really sorry. Yeah. Uh. Uh. Buzzfeed, I did the, the a word? Try Guys video where I yeah I did Magic Mike stripping and it was great. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah it's it was great. exhilarating. Yeah, it was. Worth. Thank you. You can understand. Exactly. Why. That's really awesome. I did the things. It, I did. You know what? It was. It was cool. Yeah. It was very scary, but yeah. it like I I totally can I say that I relate to Mr. Matthew McConaughey because it once you get that taste, yeah. it's all you want to do. It's like yeah. stand up, but even more. Did you oh, use a penis? It's like instead of people it. laughing at you, they they <laughs> want to fuck you. Yeah. I I gotta get a penis pump, man. Because if I can, does a penis pump make your penis bigger? Yeah, Yeah. that's what I'm hearing. Have you ever used a pussy pump? What? Be real. I'm confused. Have you never used a pussy pump? What What is a pussy 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 pump? pump. Fuck on! You can't, Kelsey. What the fuck things? No, and no, then no, saying, no. How do you what? not I'm know about this? I'm tired of being like the crazy one. <laughs> you three need to get the fuck out. You need to get out of your monogamous little little. I don't little, think that me being monogamous has anything to do with the pussy pump. bubbles. Whatever you guys are doing in the bedroom, I'm gonna have a talk with all. Actually, I did have a talk with both y'all ladies in Mexico, and we will not go there. On Zach's wedding night, did you talk to his wife? <laughs> did you did you corner oh, my <laughs> my wife to that be is so inappropriate? Let's get let's talk about uh, if we like the movie or not. Okay, but we need to talk about not knowing what a pussy pump is later. Yeah. Okay. What, what do you mean right now? Say yeah. it we we quickly because we have to end the episode. No, we don't. It is literally a <laughs> suction cup that is in the shape of a vulva that. You put over your labias and you squeeze a little contraption that sucks the air out and pulls blood to your pussy. So it pumps up your pussy and you leave it on there and it kind of feels nice if you just leave it around there and like touch it and knock on it and stuff. But then you pull the plug out and it pops off and then you have an inflated vagina. Is that necessary? Why would you? <laughs> Is Let's, that- Joe Manganiello is a Dungeons and Dragons player. Yep. I love him. And he has a big celebrity D&D game. Yeah. I actually just got a TikTok on my feed <laughs> I see the about table. the table. But uh, former players include 
James Gunn, the writers of uh, Benioff and Weiss. This is like such, a, <laughs> such an adjacent fact. I literally tuned out. I don't care. What's well, it's like part Tom part. Morello yeah, cool. that's right. and okay. Vince Vaughn. So do you guys think this movie is a guilt, a pleasure, or a guilty pleasure, a pleasure, or just plain guilty? It's Zach, you don't get a vote. It's, you a, here. <laughs> it's a pleasure for real. It's a pleasure. It's, it's an, an absolute, absolute across pleasure. The board. Everybody should watch it. Triple Everybody X. should watch it. It is um, an indie movie that's not an indie movie. It's great. It's I fantastic. couldn't agree more. Or we don't even need to do my pleasures this week because it's gonna all be that you should all go watch this movie, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, actually, I would if I could. Oh, my pleasure is a would. pussy pump. Um, <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Use um, our code, uh, ten percent off. I do have a really big pleasure. That's something that we talked right, about on the show. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? We, first of all, we hadn't crossed the line, but now I think yeah, you have. That's right. <laughs> You're welcome. I don't well, work first here. of all, I just have to say that I'm going to be taping the mics to the stands because I saw what you guys got up to when what I was that? gone. Oh, yeah, 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 and you know how hard it was for me to unscrew this one. Yeah, no, I'm going to be t- fully gaffing them. So I, I can't, <laughs> no, this is so I much better. I'm not going to lie. It. What are you I talking can't about? Handle it. But you here's what I'll say. It. Um, uh, I'm no on the she's all that I'm episode. Technically, boss, right? I guess. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I had to look at Garrick. Um, on the She's All That episode yes. of this show, yes. we watched the Addison Ray classic. Yes. Uh, he's All That, I guess. Mm. Now, I said on that episode, I think that Addison Ray would be incredible if they put her in horror movies so they could she could be like the pulpy influencer that dies or whatever. Yes, sir. Addison Ray is in the new Eli Roth horror movie, Thanksgiving co-starring with Patrick Dempsey, a.k.a. McDreamy from Grey's Anatomy. And I just want to say that I'm so excited for her career. You made this I think happen. Her team is about to make her career because she was just going to be some influencer that started in some dumb thing and then it was over. And now they're like, no, we know how to use you. We're going to put you in yeah. this crazy movie that you like kind of don't belong in because it's going to be really funny and oh, good. Oh, she belongs. I don't know if you yeah. remember, Garrick, Thanksgiving was one of the fake trailers in Grindhouse. Oh, yes. So, yeah. they're, so they're making, making that movie? an making actual it. movie. That's yes. Sick. And America's oh. Sweetheart, Addison Ray. I'm so By the excited. way, that's wild to make a movie based on a fake trailer from a movie that came out like 15 years ago. Yeah. yeah. Although it's the same of like the machete. Yeah, right. the machete was also a commercial. Yeah. Yes. Machete yeah. all but that. Machete yeah. didn't take 15 years to make. That's a really that's good fair. point. Guys, where can everyone follow you if they don't know where to find you? Um... Yes, Miles first. Um, I can be found at Miles Bond. Wow. Nice. I'm at Addison Ray on all the things. I'm Kelsey Dare on all the things. I'm at Garrett Bernard on all the things. And until next week, I want it. Let's do it. Your shadow. You know. <laughs>